you don't need their sale. You don't need their money. You don't need them as a customer. Act as if you don't need them. Meeting goes better when you, it's, and it's a lot about confidence. If you act like you really, really want something, you don't get it a lot of times. So I think same thing with sales. There's this concept called like negative reverse selling. Like if someone says, I'm not sure if I need you, you could say, I'm not sure if you guys need us either. You know, we probably should just kill this call. Right. You know, and like, they might say, yeah, we probably should boom. Okay. Great. I saved time or get them to suddenly be on the, they're selling you why they need you, you know? So which is a good, a good way to be. So just. Just be chill. Uh, don't treat a sales opportunity as if it's a, a must have. Just give them great terms and just, you know, get, get your customers. Before Tembo, you were the CEO of a billion dollar company called Astronomer. Early on, we had a big gaming company at Astronomer and I found out that they could um, put up to 15K on a credit card, you know, and, and avoid procurement. So I said, okay, great. Let's just do something for 10, you know, like I could have said, do something for 15. No, it's just, let's do something for 10, six month deal. And we did that deal. I told my team, treat this company as if they just gave us a million bucks, you know, and they did. And then we expanded it to a 60K deal six months later, you know? So yeah, just talk to them, find out how they can buy you. There's a sales methodology called Sandler sales methodology. And one of the ideas in there is you ask, you, you discover what their budget is, you know? And like, they might say, well, we don't really have a budget. And, and then you say, well, if I, if I told you the price is a million, you could, you could do that. And they were like, no, I could never do a million. I said, so that's not in your budget. What, how about 500 K if I said 500,000, so you could play this game. We could play this game all day long. You know, you need your first 10 customers. The amount of money you get from them has nothing to do with the future of the company. Those first 10 customers, you can always raise their price later, or you could just give them a great price forever too. You know, didn't expect we would go this far into enterprise sales, but I'm glad we did. <laughs> Earlier you mentioned Maxim and I had this kind of thing happen with Maxim where I actually being not very experienced with how to handle this. I wanted to test these different points and, you know, I made a mistake and, you know, things went downhill from there. But more recently I did the thing you just described where you learned more about the budget. So where you can, you know, close today without procurement, like having to sign off or whatnot. And then later make an annual that is with a higher LTV. So and that's the thing that, that, that having venture money again, different than bootstrap bootstrap. You're look like, God damn it. You need cash, right? If it's venture capital, like it doesn't matter. Like, honestly, I, I often say like, it's better to land small because you're, there's eventually going to be this net dollar retention metric. I don't know if you're familiar with net dollar retention, but it basically says like, how much of year one revenue did you get in year two? And so if you book someone for 10 K a year, then you expand them to hundred K you just, you just, uh, set yourself up to have like a, a thousand percent net dollar retention that, you know, at least for that one customer, it's going to average out with a bunch of customers, but you know, like the best SaaS companies retain, you know, they might have like a 150%, you know, like their customers, their existing customers grow by 50% year over year. And you can pull that off if you land small, uh, much easier than if you land big. Did this increase your enterprise value? Are you ready to close more sales? Let us know what you think about this video in the comments. And you can check out the full live stream with Rai, link in the description, where we talk a lot more about venture capital and bootstrapping, what it takes to raise a round as a founder, and how Rai is building his next billion dollar startup around PostgreSQL. And if you'd like to give us your feedback and stay tuned for more episodes, you can find Algora online and join our open source community. We'll see you next time. Cheers.